What the f- Why am I by my self? I am not the one who knocks. I can't guard two people at the same time. My man is a sinner all by himself. I got my hands full already. I can't guard your man. Okay, hold on. I did something that I never thought I would do. As y'all know, I am a shooter through and through, but I decided, you know what? I read the comments and I keep seeing that my bigs that are in my comment section, y'all have it rough out there. So I just wanted to see for myself. So I went ahead and made a big, I made a big man. Yes, he can shoot. Don't even play me like that. And I just wanted to see how this would go in the wreck. And oh my God, I regret my decision. This shit right here has to stop. As a big, right, I had to protect the paint, all right? Especially if my man cannot shoot. If I'm in the paint, right, the least you can do as a guard is don't give him a free runway to the paint. I understand, I'm 6'11", I got the wingspan, but you gotta give me time to help you. It can't just be a free runway. He, there was no resistance to the paint. I was supposed to sit there and just defend it. The one thing I've noticed as a big, and it's gonna get worse as this video goes on, the one thing I've noticed as a big is you guards and small forwards think that just because I'm big and tall that you can just not play any defense beyond the three-point line. Bitch, guard your man. Guard your man all the way through so that if he beats you and you're still on him, it gives me enough time to at least put my fucking hands up and help you so we can go ahead and do what we need to do. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I'm wide open. I'm right there. I'm right there. You're the smallest person on the team and you went up on the center. There's no way you did that in good conscience. You literally went up on the center when you're big man. I'm the biggest fucking person on the in, on the entire court. I'm 6'11 and I can't get the rock. That shit is crazy. I'm thinking as a big, okay, I'm the center. I'm gonna take away all the dumb shit in the paint. I was wrong. You point guards, oh my. I never knew just how bad guards play in 2K until I made my big man. I promise you, I had no idea. Everybody in my comment section that are bigs, I feel for you. Now I understand now i get it I I, what the f why am i by my fucking self right there right there why am i by myself just because i have defense does not mean i can guard two people at one time this is this is simple math just guard your man i at look look as the big right my job is to protect the paint that does not mean my job is to defend any and everybody that runs into the fucking paint like it's my man it's still not my man i'm supposed to help you now keep this in mind if your man scores that is on you especially if you're not gonna play any defense at all so my whole thing is this stop letting me get double teamed in the paint i don't understand why y'all don't play defense just because you have a defensive big on your team let me get this through your fucking head. Just because you have a defensive big on your team does not allow you to think that, oh, well, so long as he isn't at the three-point line, I ain't got to worry about shit. If he runs in the paint, my big will guard him. No, I won't. Not anymore. No, I won't. Matter of fact, no, I won't. The only way I'll guard your man, if he runs in the paint, my man better be AFK. My man better be AFK because I'm sick of that shit. I've noticed it. Every game I played on my big, it's just all the guards will literally do this shit as soon as they get past them because they have a big on their team. You have no idea how frustrating that shit is. It happens so often. That's why I screamed in the clip. It happens so often and it blows my mind. All you have to do is play defense, right? Just guard them as if I'm not there. Literally, that's all you have to do. Just guard as if your center is not going to help you so that when I come out of nowhere and block the ball, we win as a result. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. If you're there and you give him the body, I just need you to put your hands up like this. I'll do the rest. But you can't just give it a free lane. I'm literally getting double teamed on defense. What the fuck? I'm about to say, I did not think it was gonna go over there. I really didn't. Don't, don't. Oh, yes. I wanted to show that on purpose. I wanted to show that on purpose because now the entire floor knows you have a 6'11 shooting big, okay? I can shoot the ball. We all know it now, right? So that now when this video moves forward, you can see my fucking frustration. Then I just wanted to show that so we have the receipts. I have the receipt right there. You know I can shoot. Everybody on that court knows I can shoot. Let's continue. Here's your screen. My man's gonna help. Why? Oh. There was no time. There was no time. Literally, 
as he was passing you the ball, your man was practically on you. Why did you shoot that? Why did you shoot that? And you know what? I am so sick of the excuses because I'm not even going to buy the whole well, I tried to pump fake because that's normally what people say when you call them out on this shit. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. There's no way you tried to pump fake. What happened was is you just don't have spatial awareness. You weren't paying attention. You were looking at the ball and not yourself. That's the only thing that makes sense. This shit blows my mind. Just because you were open does not mean you are open when the ball touches your hand. If you're open one second, when the ball touches your hand, I need you to know this, right? And I thought this was common sense, but we're going to explain it today. Um... You still have to make sure you're open before you just let that bitch ride. I, I thought that was common sense, especially in this scenario. It's not like there's a lot of distance to cover between the corner and the wing. You weren't even like at the top of the wing. You were more towards the corner anyways. He had plenty of time to rotate over and come guard you. As a matter of fact, you should have had enough common sense to be like, so if this ball touches my hand, I'm swinging it to the corner because there's no way he's just going to let me shoot. I feel like that's not even like an advanced basketball thinking thing to do. And on top of that it was a very late which means you meant to shoot if you if you meant to pump fake it, it'd be like a very early or early maybe if your jumps are super fast very late you 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 tried to shoot that so i don't even want to hear okay i set the screen for the guard right and i roll down and as i'm rolling down i'm getting double teamed by his man and my own man so let common sense let's not go any further who should get the ball who, who should get the ball i'll wait who should get the ball the guard, correct, the person I set the screen for, right? And you wanna know why he didn't get the ball? Because people like to run around. How many times have I said this? Stop moving. All you have to do sometimes, sometimes in basketball, I know this is a hard concept. Sometimes the best thing to do is to stop fucking moving. If I'm setting a screen for the guard, we can make a play off of that right there. That, like, at least if we're gonna run around, let's at least wait a second. It's constant movement for no reason. Now I can't give him the ball. I don't know about y'all, but me personally, if I know who's doubling me, I'm not trying to look for every fucking body because I should be able to give it to the person Person who's fucking doubling me but the fact that I can't it blew my mind and yeah I should have made that pass in the paint you're right but you know what I can easily say you should have stood the fuck still but anyways big men I want to apologize through the course of this channel I've gotten on bigs as the most for taking dumb shots for taking shots on like three to four five people and shit like that right I, I've been on y'all the worst I want to formally apologize because the guards are no better. The guards are no better. There's no way you took that shit up. You didn't even hesitate. You didn't try to make a move or nothing. And now I get to say it because I'm a big. You definitely can make a move. All you gotta do, pump fake, drop step, something. Just, just get him off his feet. And if you can't, pass the ball, run away. Why am I, as the big, playing smarter than every other inside guard right now? It makes no sense. I'm six. I can't believe I'm about to say this. I'm 6'11". If anyone should take that shot, it should be me. It should be me. I think that's the only scenario where it makes sense. If you are just towering over your defender, I can see that. Like if you, like, okay, say, say, say he was like 6'1", and you took that same shot and missed, I don't think I'd care. It wouldn't even be a clip in this video because I can see why you took it taller than him. And you got the stats. It makes a little bit of sense. But this, oh, this makes no sense at all. I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at. This makes no sense at all. Guard your man. Guard your man. And I don't want to fucking hear that I should have been in the paint. No, 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 no. It makes no sense. He literally did not guard him. As a matter of fact, he jumped. Ain't no way you jump. Why you jump? Why did you leave the floor? See, this shit is blowing my mind. This whole game, I kept getting double teamed as the fucking big. This shit's gotta stop. I'm not Zeus. I am not the one who knocks. I can't guard two people at the same time. My man is a center all by himself. I got my hands full already. I can't guard your man. This is my whole thing. I can't even help you when you do shit like this. I can't even help. There's not enough time because I'm sitting here trying to make sure I don't get a three second. I'm sitting here wondering if my man is gonna do off ball screens. No, it's not like my center is just sitting still. I have to guard my man. You expect me to be prepared for a blow by that fast? That motherfucker got to the paint in less than three seconds and, you, and I'm supposed to help you. Man, fuck you. What? Oh, come on. What the fuck are we doing? Oh. If we don't score this position. We don't score this position. Yep. What's the excuse for not passing the ball? 
I need to know, what's the excuse for not passing the ball? We're both wide open, and we want to not pass the ball. And see, here's the thing. Here's the problem. Yes, at a certain point, me and my teammates stopped giving them the ball willingly unless they were just wide open. Only problem is, and I have the receipts. I have the receipts. When they kept hoeing me over and over and over again, I still gave them the ball. I still gave y'all the rock, even though you really, really didn't deserve it. Right here, right here. Matter of fact, why don't we go to the receipts, y'all? I could have easily, as a 6'11 big, yes, I'm gonna keep saying that. As a 6'11 big, I had someone completely smaller than me. All I had to do is go in the post and do a post fade and I could have made that shot especially after y'all been hoeing me all game defensively and offensively but no I still gave you bum ass the ball but now you y'all can't give us the rock we're sitting there wide open and we can't get the rock and you know what I could have scored I won't even sit here and lie to y'all when I got that ball in the low mid range I definitely could have shot that I didn't want to I'll say it. I didn't want to. I did not want to shoot the ball because you've got to deal with the consequences of your actions. You want to sit there and do some bullshit and not give us the ball? Y'all fucking score then because fuck that shit. Don't ask me why I'm in here, okay? Just don't ask me why I'm in here. Just know that we're in here and we're just going to gonna try it out. We're just going to try it out. Okay, once again, I'm only showing this because it's been established. What can the big do? What, what, what can your big do, teammates? What, what what can I do? I can shoot the ball. Okay, I just want it to be established. I just want that to be established. Man, I do not understand the part. Every time I come in here and I try and give y'all a chance, I just don't get it. He had the shot when we set him the screen, right? He had the shot and then doesn't take it and decides to go in the paint. I, right there, I'm thinking, okay, I definitely would have just shot the ball at the three-point, but you know what? Maybe he just want to go in the paint, get an easy bucket. Only problem is, is he passes it out to the man at the left wing. Why did we do that? I don't know. But then on top of that, when he gets the ball, I'm sitting there wide open. What's been established, everybody? Before we go any further, what's been established? Your big can what? Your big can shoot. So explain to me why you shot that. Now, granted, it was open. It's not like it was just the worst shot on planet Earth. So I'm really not even getting on your ass. My whole pet peeve right now is just like, why do guards in the park dribbles excessively when they can easily score. It blows my mind. Maybe it's just me, but I've always noticed that guards, they have to do a certain signature move. Like, not just the same move, but they always do a certain signature move before they shoot. Instead of just stopping what you're doing, stop dribbling, and then just pull up. But you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. This is why I'm confused. Educate me on this for those who play park and watch my content. He shot this shot, right? He shot this one which I would argue is more contested than the shot he could have shot, say, last clip, the one at the top of the key. I feel like if he would have pulled up then, he would have been more open than this shot. But what blows my mind even more, aside from the fact that you wasted, I think, like what? Almost 10 seconds dribbling constantly? Because my whole thing is when you dribble like that, you're wasting your stamina, which then makes it harder for you to shoot. But you know what? Let's not even go down that road. My whole thing that I'm confused about is you missed this shot, right? And I think by this point, he's like two of six. You missed a shot and then you flop. See, he's one of those guards that only shoot threes. I've noticed that he only shoots threes. And I'm gonna go ahead and say this right now before we get to the conclusion of this video. If you made a guard and you go and park wreck or wherever and you only shoot threes, you need to reevaluate your life decision. I'm never walking in here again. I'm never walking in here again. This man wasted literally the whole shot clock just to miss. The whole shot clock, just a minute. The amount of times that he had a shot, he had a layup, didn't take it. This is what blows my mind with you park niggas, bro. You have the shot so many times and you don't shoot it. For what reason? I do not know. But even when you get open, you can't even make the shot because your stamina's depleted. That's why this whole shit makes no sense to me. Dribbling, 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 dribbling. It makes no sense. Unless you're Steezo or really, really good at this game, you need to leave that shit to the pros. I'm sorry, leave it to the pros. You can't, you're not like that. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you, you're not like that. You missed this shot earlier. Now, if you missed this and you didn't take this, where is this confidence coming from? That's what blows my mind. I could not shoot shit like this without prior confidence built up throughout the game. I just couldn't. Like, if I miss two threes in a row, I'm trying something else. I'm gonna get a layup. 
I'm gonna get a mid range, do something else just to get my momentum back. You know, shit that you do in real life. That's why sometimes I can watch someone who plays 2K and tell you've never touched a basketball in your life because there's no way you're constantly shooting this shit over and over and over and over and over again. It makes no sense. Nigga ended this game two or six. He ended this game two or six. I have 10 points as the big. I was eating, I was shooting post fades, I was shooting threes, I was dominating my man. My man couldn't stop me, but no, I had to sit there and watch motherfuckers do this. Sit there and watch you dribble, dribble, dribble for literally the whole shot clock when you know your big could create his own shot. See, this shit has bothered me. Making a big has really opened my eyes. This has bothered me to a new degree. I can't believe how y'all treat bigs out here.